hit both of these guys. What just happened? <laughs> What's going on everyone? My name is Toon Mike and today we're going to be playing Smashing 4. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video of Smashing 4. Guys, we're so close to 600 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Like, I really want to get to 600 subscribers this week, so tell your friends about me or whatever it is. Just subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. We're almost to 600 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I, I really do appreciate your guys' support. I couldn't have done this without you guys. Today we're going to be playing in the ladder. We're going to be using the, uh, my main deck, the, the deck that actually helped me reach 4,000 trophies and end up in number 420 in the world and 40 in the United States. So hopefully we can go far. As you can see, I'm at 32 something, 32, 30 something. So obviously I, I have not been doing quite well in the ladder, but I believe it's because it's still the beginning of the season. So we're going to be facing, you know, players that knows what they're doing, you know. So we start off with the wizard dealing a decent amount of damage to the treant and the Zon and the um yeti. Sorry, now we can poison his ye uh, treant and the yeti, which is good because we need that burn damage or the poison damage. Plus we burned the treant a little bit, so that was not bad, not bad at all. The treant will go next. He is actually gonna buff up the barbarian. Oh, do not hit the striker. Of course you hit the striker, man. So let's actually hit the Barbarian straight up towards the Wizard and the Zombie. We didn't even hit the Wizard, but it's fine. The Barbarian still died. So there you go. We took out the Barbarian. Very good very good play right there. The Jetty goes next. He, actually, he might actually deal a lot of damage to my Zombie right here. He did. Well, well played there. He actually did deal a decent amount of damage. Um, let's see if we can... Yeah, we should be able to double hit the Jetty and the Jetty should die. There you go. Plus we burned the we burned the tree in a little bit. So there you go. The tree in did take about if I'm doing the math correctly, ah, uh, three hundred and ninety-two damage, something like that. The the mice spend is still healthy, so we have to worry about him a little bit. The wizard goes next, which is very good because the wizard does a lot of damage when they're healthy. You know, you know what I mean. So we can definitely double hit the um. The mice spend it. We can probably even hit the tree as well. Yes, we did. We actually kill off the tree ant. The mice spend it now is almost dead. Thank goodness. So let's see what the mice spend is gonna do. My zombie actually goes next, but he actually blocked me. How much health does a uh, mice spend have? Okay, three fifty six. Double hitting towards the double hitting with the naga will end the game right here. Oh. Or a poison would have been would have been the end of it, but we failed. But this is okay. There's no way this person should beat me. Yeah, he actually almost killed off the Naga. Wow, this guy actually played out really well. So let's just use the Naga to take care of the mice bandit, and there you go. We won our first game. Cool beans. We need to try to get five wins to get the daily. I actually did not do the daily quest yesterday, so this is actually the quest from yesterday. And, um, oh. so we actually have yesterday's quest and today's quest. We may or may not be able to finish both of them in this video, but you never know. We'll see. We'll see how, how far we can get, and hopefully we can get all the orb slots open. Or, you know, open all the orbs with the, um, the, the ad thingamajiggy. Well, thankfully we poisoned the Yeti. I thought we messed it up, but we poisoned the Yeti, thankfully. Uh, the Yeti, okay, well played there. He actually did a lot of damage to the, to the, to the wizard, sorry. So let's actually double hit the Barbarian, at least try to, and maybe we can hit the Yeti as well. Yes, we did. Plus the extra damage with the zombie. Okay, so the Barbarian and the Yeti, almost dead, especially when they're poisoned. Naga actually goes next, which is good because I can deal a lot of damage thanks to her ability. However, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much because I would like to poison. Actually, we did poison the um, the archer. The archer is actually almost dead. Zombie goes next. We have to poison the yeti. We do not want the yeti um having that speed buff. So let's definitely poison the yeti. We actually took out the barbarian as well. Okay. 
Archer's almost dead. I think the Archer will die next turn no matter what she does. The Archer will die next turn unless she gets the speed buff. I just realized that. Unless she gets the speed buff. Okay, well played, but she did not, so the Archer will die. And we're going to deal a lot of damage to the Barbarian thanks to the Striker's ability. Look at that. So, both of them are low health. Literally, I think they're both one shot. Let's see, the Yeti... Yeah, the Yeti just needs one hit. And the Banshee needs... Two... Wow, this, this guy actually played that really well. Okay. This guy actually played that really, really well. Um, let's take out the Yeti. Wait a second. So, the, tr the Striker... Okay, so the Zombie can tank one hit. So as long as we can keep the troops separated, we can handle the the banshee. We'll see though. This person may actually beat me if he does if he does this right. He just needs to hit the um the striker one time and the zombie twice or once and a and a burn. Please don't just please miss. Please miss. Don't you get don't you dare. Okay, he missed. Thankfully he missed. And I just need to hit him twice, so I think I need to hit the Banshee towards the bur the burn, and we'll win. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna, I don't know if this is actually gonna be able to reach the burn. I think it will. So let's do this. <gasps> I missed the burn. I overshot it. No, I overshot it. I should have just double hit him. I made a fatal mistake, oh my gosh, why? I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. <sighs> that was a stupid mistake on my part, man. Stupid mistake, I cannot believe I made that stupid mistake. I'm pissed, I should have won that. I cannot believe I made that stupid mistake. Come on, come on, we gotta win, we gotta win, let's win. We gotta win. All comments except the wizard. Hopefully my zombie goes first. Please. My zombie actually goes first. But his troop goes first. And he just does two hits on two troops. Let's poison the bomber and the wizard. We might be able to burn the... I mean poison the pirate as well. Almost po uh, poisoning the pirate. Okay. Naga goes next. We can definitely take care of the wizard and the bomber. If, we, if my troops can move out of there. They actually can't. So what we're gonna do is... Wow, we cannot even do anything here. We're gonna have to bounce off the wall here and hit the wizard, or at least try to. Yes, we did, and we actually poisoned the, the pirate as well. That was a very good play. Pirate goes next. My wizard goes next, so... If the troops stays together, we're definitely gonna have to go for those troops. Um. Okay, this actually is gonna be a lot of damage here. So we're definitely gonna do this. Hit both of these guys. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened there? Did you see the explosion right there, man? Wow. Okay. Um, we definitely have to take care of the bomber first. Before we take care of the wizard. Or the skeleton, sorry. I keep mixing up the names. Okay, if we actually hit the end of the skeleton and then the bomber, we'll win. So let's do this. There you go, we won. Okay. That was a very quick match. I have no idea what, what the deuce the wizard did there that just did, what, 17,000 damage? Like, that was just insane. That was just insane. But I'm happy that we did that. We should have had three in a row. We should have had th uh, three in a row. I'm still, mad about, I'm still mad about the last match. I should have definitely won the last match. So this person has a similar deck to mine. Except I have the wizard and he has some mice bandits, so we cannot do much with the naga sadly. So I'm just gonna try to use the wizard to deal damage to the zombie at least. 700 damage. I can't complain about that. He is definitely gonna deal a lot of damage to my wizard. Hopefully he, hopefully he fails. Oh, of course he poisons as well. But we can still deal. Wow, the wizard almost died. So we have to take, we have to take advantage of the wizard right here. Look at that! Oh my gosh, the wizard is just powerful, dude! Guys, max out your wizard first. The wizard is just incredibly strong. Um, 
Alright, okay, so he just took care of my wizard. So now we can... We can poison the Naga and the Striker. Which we should, because those two are still kind of healthy. Hopefully we can, Hopefully we did not miss the Striker. We missed the Striker. But, none of my troops are poisoned, so the Naga cannot use her ability. Thankfully. So the Naga is only going to do 500 damage per hit, which I can take. Okay, well played there. Um, can we kill off the Mice Bandit here? Yeah, that's that. That's death animation. So if we can hit the Mice Bandit plus hit the Naga with the Striker, that would be a good play. Hopefully we don't miss the Naga. We actually did hit the Naga. Okay. So the Naga will receive a lot of damage because of the poison. My Naga goes next, so we have to try to go for his Naga unless we have a chance to poison his Striker. So let's see what he's going to do here. My striker is still alive. Barely, but he is still alive. I cannot even hit this Naga, so I'm going to try to poison his striker. We were actually able to do that. We actually hit the Naga. The Naga actually took a lot of damage thanks to the burn, plus the striker's ability, plus the poison. So that was very good. Okay, well, wow, that was a decent amount of damage. Uh, let's go for the Striker. Actually, let's go for the Striker. So let's hit the Naga towards the Striker. It should be enough speed to do so. There you go. We took care of the Striker. Now it's just the Naga. The Naga can't, cannot use her ability at all. So we should definitely win this match. Unless he hits the Naga three times and the Zombie twice. Somehow. Okay. So there you go. Another win in the books. Okay, so we're doing good. We won three. We won three. And we lost one. So we're we're going the right track. And this person actually had more trophies than I do. A decent amount too. So we're gonna get a decent amount of trophies. Look at that. Forty-two. Let's continue on. We are at what? We should be at thirty-three hundred now. Yep. We are at thirty-three hundred. Hopefully, we get to thirty-four very soon and ended at thirty-five hundred trophies. Fingers crossed that we can do that. Train Assassin with the Mice Bandit. You know how I feel about that. Hopefully his archer doesn't go first. The not, uh, the art... Uh, I keep mixing up the names. The Assassin actually goes first, which is good for me. He cannot use his ability. Then again, I cannot use my ability either because my Naga goes first. Uh, let's see if we can... Well, let's see if we can do this. We can poison, hopefully, the... Oh, Okay. Okay, so the Assassin almost died. We poisoned the Mice Bandit and the Assassin. Very good. Let's see if we can poison the Treant and the um, the Archer. We can at least poison the Archer. Let's deal damage to... Let's definitely deal, uh, deal damage to the Assassin because we need the Assassin dead. And poison the Archer. There you go. Lots of burn damage going around. The, the Assassin died. Okay. To make this game optimal, we just need to poison the Treant, and we will be good to go. The... Oh, my Striker. Oof. So let's definitely... Um, well, he actually just took out my Wizard. And deal a lot of damage to my... Um, to my Striker. But let's hit both of these guys. We should be able to hit the, the Treant towards the, the Naga. We did. The Naga actually double hit the Treant. We took out the Mice Bandit. Okay, now we just gotta worry about the um, the Archer. The Archer obviously is doing the most damage. And can still use her ability. Uh, this, act this person actually has me blocked. Yeah, I cannot even hit the Archer. So we're just gonna hit the Treant. We might be able to hit the Archer as well by bouncing off the wall here. No, we just did some damage to to the archer with the zombie. Any damage is good damage. So, this my striker and the naga are obviously the deadliest card because he is poisoned. Let's actually use the naga to deal damage to the archer. And that should be... It may not be game yet, but that would be the game changer. Yep. So, the archer just needs one more hit and we will take the win. Bada beam, bada boom! Three hits! Well played! Well played! Let's actually just burn the archer and we'll take the win. Three burns, okay. Yeah, that was that was more than enough burn. And there you go, guys. We got another win. 
Is that three in a row? That is three in a row. So we got plus a ten, 10 additional trophies. Definitely going to help us get to 3,400 trophies. And we got the orb slots filled. Which is great because now we can open orb. So I'll be right back after the ad finish. And we are back. Um, my camera actually stopped recording mid-ad. Thankfully, it was during the ad and not during the match. But, okay. But still, the camera stopped recording. Don't know why. It pisses me off when I do that. I'm trying to click the battle button. I do apologize about that. But, okay. Let's hop into the next match. Let's keep the win streak going because I need the trophies. Okay, so this guy has a Yeti. Thankfully, not with the Banshee. And the Goblin also pairs out very well with the Banshee. Thankfully, he does not have the Banshee. So, well played there. Decent amount of damage. Uh, let's see if we can just poison the Yeti. And maybe we can hit the, the Goblin as well. Oh my gosh, so close to poisoning the Goblin. So, that was not the best play. Because now, um, he is definitely going to go for the... Oh, he's going for the Zombie plus the Striker, okay? Okay. Uh, that was a lot of damage, of course. I could poison the goblin, the, the goblin, but this would be a lot of damage. Yeah, so let's just hit both of these guys. Let's go for damage and not poison. Because it's gonna hit multiple troops. So, let, yeah, let's just do this. Okay, the Barbarian, the Yeti, took a lot of damage. Almost lethal damage, so I'm happy with that. My zombie goes next. Hopefully the zombie can stay alive for this turn so I can poison either the goblin or the warrior. It all depends on where these troops are going to end up. Yeah, we should definitely go for the zombie because now we can also poison the um, the barbarian. Hopefully the goblin is not too light enough that the, the zombie is going to miss. We actually missed. But, wow. We actually missed the barbarian. I mean, it does not matter. The Barbarian just needs two hits, but that could have been a game changer there. Okay, um, let's go for the the Warrior now because the Warrior still is still healthy. Um, let's see if we can just hit her like this. Hopefully we can make the Warrior bounce back and hit the Wizard again. <sighs> Beautiful. The wizard is helping me out, dude. The wizard is completely helping me change the game. Oh, wow. He just took out the wizard. And the naga. Okay. Um. Yeah, we definitely have to take out the warrior because the warrior can one-shot my troops now. And we should be able to hit the barbarian by hitting the warrior. Hopefully, we can double hit the barbarian so we can end the game right here. And double hit. Oh, my gosh. So close. Okay. So the zombie can tank two hits. The striker can also tank two hits, maybe even three, depending on how the barbarian plays out. Because obviously the barbarian's ability is to gain damage every shit, every hit he gets. He she gets. Sorry, I am struggling with my words today. So hopefully he does not beat me here. No barbarian shenanigans, please. That was close. That was close. The Barbarian has 500 health. Uh, I might not be able to double hit the Barbarian, but this should be hitting the um, the Fire Pillar if we do miss the double hit. And that should be game. Yep, okay. So thankfully, we missed the double hit, but the Fire Pillar helped me to take her out. We are continuing with the... Um, with the win streak, we actually claimed the daily reward, which was to win five matches. Let me see what's the other reward because we did not do, we did not play much yesterday. At least I did not play much. Oh, I think I probably missed a day. Ooh, I think I missed a day. I'm not certain. Um, but before we continue on, we're gonna open another orb, so I'll be right back after the ad finishes. And we are back. We are at 3394. Just one more win, we can get to 3400. We got um, an amazing win, uh, win streak going on. If it wasn't for that loss in the second match, this would be a very perfect video. And look at this. We're facing an all damage deck. We're facing all damage. Um, with the zombie goes first, thankfully. So we can poison the Ice Queen, the Golem. And we if we do this right, we can definitely poison his uh, Sentinel. We missed the Sentinel. How many trophies does he have? 34, 36. So this person has more trophies than I do. Thankfully. 
Okay, that's, that was not his greatest play, thankfully. But the damage can, the damage can definitely... Um, can be a game changer here. Okay, we just took out the Ice Queen, right? The Ice Queen is still alive, okay. The Ice Queen has how much health? The Ice Queen will die next turn, no matter what. So now we just gotta worry about... Uh, we can try to hit the Golem. Yeah, we can try to hit the Golem. Since the other troops are not poisoned, we, so we might as well take advantage of the Naga's ability to just hit poison troops. I just obviously do not want to miss. Eh, there's some damage to the Sentinel as well, so not too shabby. The Wizard goes next, which is good, because if the Golem and the, Sent and the Sentinel stays put... Actually, I can still deal damage to those two, the Golem and the Sentinel, or the um, the Druid right here. This would be a lot of damage. Come on, let's just deal a lot of damage right here. There you go. The Golem is still alive, man. The Golem will die next turn. Okay. So, he is trying to... <laughs> he is trying his best to use the, um, the Sentinel's ability, but it is not working out too well in his favor. So, let's just poison the Druid. We actually double hit the Druid as well, so not too shabby. Um, he may actually take out the Striker. If my Striker dies here, we're gonna lose. He will take out the Naga, that's for sure. But hopefully the Striker stays alive here. Okay. Lots of damage, lots of damage. Um, huh. We have to take out a Sentinel somehow. So let's see if we can double hit the Sentinel by making... By hitting it like this. And the striker bouncing off the the corner to hit him. And if we're lucky, we can poison the sentinel as well by doing it. Let's see. We actually poisoned the sentinel. I cannot believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. Um, the wizard now needs to do his part. Because we will lose the striker. So hopefully the wizard stays alive here. Wow, look at this. They actually put the troops together. So... Let's do this. Uh, okay. The druid did die. So it's the zombie can tank two hits. And the wizard can tank two hits as well. So let's see what this person is going to do. He cannot do much. Yeah, we won this. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe we won that. <laughs> An all damage deck. All damage deck and we actually made it work. We won, thankfully. That's a that's that's gonna be an, a decent amount of trophies as well. Look at that note. 33 plus 10, 43 trophies. We got a five win streak going on, and we can actually open another orb, so I'll be right back after the ad finish. And we are back 34 37. Look at this guys, we actually might reach to 3500 if I can if it can continue with this momentum. We do have a five win streak. Uh let's see what we're gonna face. Okay, my spender and Jaguar is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Thankfully he cannot um enchant his troops or my troops. My Naga goes next. Okay, well played. Well played. That was a lot of damage. Let's let's poison the mice bandit and hopefully Oh wow. The um the mice bandit took a serious amount of damage. He may die soon. Hopefully my wizard can stay alive here, please. Do not take out the wizard right now. Yeah, he just took out the wizard, sadly. Um, the Striker will go next. Uh, let's see what we can do here with the Striker. We can probably deal a lot of damage to the, um, the Jaguar as well. If we, if we can double hit the Jaguar and make it hit towards the fire, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We took out the Jaguar and the, um, the Mice Bandit in... Wow, one turn. That was a serious amount of damage. So it's now just the Warrior and the Archer. Well played there. Well played there. I'll give you that. Uh, let's see if we can poison. We can definitely poison the warrior. I'm just hoping that we can poison the archer as well in this very turn. Nah, failed to do so. Um, but with my naga, we can definitely take out the warrior. Hopefully he can. He, hopefully he doesn't take out the striker. He just took out the striker. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, my striker died. That's fine. Hopefully we can hit the um the archer as well. We just burned the archer, okay. So, my zombie goes next. We'll definitely poison. Hopefully my naga stays alive. The naga can tank 
two hits. The third hit, the Naga will die. Okay. If we can hit the, uh, the Archer towards the Naga, that would be a game changer. Hopefully, I do not miss this. Right here should be okay. I missed! I missed the hit. Hopefully, he misses the zombie here. Nope! Of course. Yo, I cannot believe I missed that. Ah! Come on! I would need to somehow find a way to hit him like five times here. Nope. I'm telling you, the, the only two losses, because I'm definitely gonna lose here, the only two losses in this video were because of my stupid, fatal mistakes. Oh my gosh. Like, like the Banshee one, I should've hit the Banshee towards the fire, or double hit him with the, um, with the uh, zombie, and of course I failed. And right here, I tried to hit the Archer towards my Naga, and I completely failed there. If it wasn't for that, I could've won both of those games. Ah! That's fine. We can definitely come back. We can still get to 3500. Let my zombie goes first, which is awesome. Let's poison the goblin and the um the bomber. The striker. I didn't even plan to poison the striker, so awesome start. Z uh, my wizard actually goes next, so if those troops stays together. Not really. They did not stay together, so. Let's hit the the bar uh, the barbarian, because she is not poisoned, so, so we need to deal damage to her as well. Almost hitting the striker and the bomber. Unfortunately, I failed to hit any of them. But um, still, we did a lot of damage to the barbarian regardless. Yeah, this person is not playing well, thankfully. So we can definitely hit the barbarian towards the fire. And the, um, we can hit the striker. Yeah, lots of damage to the striker, the bomber, and the barbarian. Okay, so my Naga goes next. Yeah, this person is not playing well. I don't know what this person is doing. So let's hit the striker. We should be able to hit the goblin as well. Yes, we are actually able to do that. Double hitting the barbarian as well. That I did not even plan. That was awesome. So, we should have this in the bag. We definitely should have this in the bag. So, my, well, okay, my zombie is somehow still alive. Let's hit the goblin towards the naga. The Naga should go... Nope, I tried to make the, the Naga hit the uh, the Bomber. That was a weird angle, but... The Bomber cannot... The Bomber cannot take out four of my troops in one turn. There's just no way. Especially with, you know, with my troops being healthy, like the Naga and the bar, and the, um, the, na and the, um, the Striker. I cannot believe I'm... I keep messing up the names, man. I've been doing this for like... I've been doing YouTube for like 10 months now. And I'm still struggling with my words, so I do apologize about that. <laughs> I do apologize about that. 30 trophies flat, there you go. We are at 3445, we can open another sh uh, orb, so I'll be right back after the ad finish. And we are back, 3445. If we can get two good more, uh, two good more wins, we'll get to 3500, and that's probably gonna be the end of the video. We are doing pretty good, we, we got two losses and uh, lots of wins, so I'm ha very happy with this. This is a very... This is a very dangerous deck. Unfortunately, my my zombie does not go does not go first. Um, so we're just gonna hit the mice pen and the naga. His frost fox goes first, which is good for me because the frost fox cannot heal. However, the frost fox does deal a lot of damage. But uh, let's see what he's gonna do because my striker goes next, and if the frost fox stays down there to where I am in my side of the map. We can definitely... Oh, okay. Okay, we'll play there. Uh, Don't think we're going to be able to... I guess we'll just double hit the Frost Fox just to get some damage going on. And maybe we can even burn the Frost Fox. No, we actually got three hits. Look at that. So the Frost Fox is almost dead. The zombie actually goes next. And the zombie does not have a good angle to hit my uh, my troops here. So yeah, he has he had to go for my um for my zombie. My zombie almost died, however. Let's actually hit the Naga towards his Naga. The wizard should just we didn't even hit the wizard. Oh wow. At least we poisoned the Naga. But this is not good. Okay. 
Oof. Okay. This is not looking too good, to be honest with you. Not really. Right. Let's see if we can double hit the Frost Fox. Yes, we were. Burned the, burned the Naga, thankfully. Um, my troops are getting low health. Except the Striker. The Striker is still fully healed. Hopefully he misses the Wizard. He actually missed the Wizard, okay. Okay, we can definitely hit a Snaga. Plus, my Wizard can bounce and hit both of these guys. Or at least hit one of them and splash the other. Yep, look at that. 700 damage flat to the Mice Bandit. And some damage to the Zombie. So, let's see what he's gonna do here. He wants to poison the Wizard and the Naga, seems like. Missed the... Wow, he actually missed the, um... The Striker and the Naga. If we do this right, we can actually make the Naga hit the Mice Bandit. Wow, we actually double hit the Mice Bandit to take him out, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is just a zombie against three of my troops, my striker being fully healed. There's no way this there's no way this person should beat me. Alright, so my Naga goes next. Cannot do too much, but still any damage is good damage, obviously. Uh yeah. I cannot do too much. I'm just gonna go for damage. Oh, burn damage as well. So about 681 damage right there. Not too shabby. Striker going next. We can definitely hit the, the zombie towards the Naga or the fire. And that'll be a lot of damage. Another hit. Oh, so close to getting another hit. So my, my striker being almost 2,000 health. There's no way a lone zombie can deal 2,000 health. So we definitely won this. Got this in the bag, bada bing bada boom! And there you go. We won our second match. I mean second match. We got two wins in a row. I don't know why I said second match. We can open another orb. Okay, so I'll be right back after the ad finish. And we are back 3475. If we win this one, we'll get a 10 win streak. Uh, 3 win streak, so plus 10 trophies. So we should have enough to get to 3,500. So, let's see what we're going to face. All comments with the exception of the wizard. The wizard? I'm telling you, man. Everybody's using the wizard now. Wizard is very strong. Um, he is going to hit the wizard and the striker. Hopefully he hits the striker once. Just once, not twice. He's actually going to double hit the wizard. Nope. He only hit the, um, the wizard and the zombie once. Thankfully. Uh, let's actually hit the wizard. To hit his wizard and the barbarian. For sure. <laughs> Dude. The wizard. The wizard is just <laughs> it's so strong. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh wow, look at this. We can actually deal a lot of damage to his warrior plus the, um, the mice bandit. Dude, come on! Look at his look at his health, man. Wizard, thank you so much for your help. I'll try to win this for you. All right, so my zombie actually goes next, which is great. We can finally start poisoning troops. Wow, did he also take out my naga? Wow, he actually took out my naga as well. Okay, so let's definitely worry about his warrior. So we can definitely poison his warrior plus a barbarian. Oh, hit the mice band as well. Oh, so close. So close to hitting the mice band. He will hit the wizard. Uh, the zombie. And just the zombie, I think. He should not hit the striker. Should not. Okay. Nope, he did not. Oh, yeah. We can definitely hit the, um, the wizard towards the zombie. And we should also be able to poison the mice band. It. Yeah, look at that, and an oof. Everybody's poisoned. Striker still fully healed. Barbarian will die. Oh, the barbarian, the barbarian can actually tank one hit. But we have to go for his. Um, oh, well played there. Okay. Okay, we have to hit the warrior towards the striker. 
If we miss this, I'm gonna be mad. And it's a warrior dead. The warrior died. So it's just a barbarian. The barbarian has one chance. One chance to take out my troops. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. And we can actually just burn the barbarian. We'll win. Yeah. We also got a head off. That's hilarious. And there you go, guys. We got to 3,500. I am surprised. I am surprised. Okay, we got to look at that. 3 win streak. 35-0-6. Guys, we got... What, almost 300 trophies? I gotta have to look, I, I gotta have to look through the video, but I think we got 300 or very close to 300 trophies, guys. Like, that's incredible. We only lost like th two or three times. Wow. So that's an amazing video. I'm gonna keep it like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit, to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Guys, um... That was an incredible journey. We're almost at, at Champion's Reward. I'm probably going to push um, in tomorrow's video. Or I'm actually going to try to pre-record today. Um, because uh, Thursday I'm not going to be able to record a video. So I'm going to try to pre-record so I can upload the video Thursday. But um, yeah. Um, if you guys have any uh, challenge text recommendation. Let, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll certainly do it. But other than that. Thanks again for watching this video guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.